in Vancouver. We're just here for a quick little weekend trip. We got here last night. We're going home today. We're here on Granville Island. It's basically like Vancouver's version of Pike Place Market to us Seattleites. We got a pastry this morning, got a guava matcha that was really good. It's like Cosmo and Wanda. It was raining, now it's not raining anymore. Kate's cold. Here's what we did last night. It's gonna be a good day. There's water, it's called False Creek, and there are two different ferry services that do the same thing. There's that one, the False Creek Ferry, and then there's this yellow one coming towards us. It's called the Aqua Bus. They try to like beat each other out to pick you up. It's really funny. Last time we took the Aqua Bus and the guy was telling us all about how Elvis came to Vancouver, and I don't know if it was true or not. If you've ever been to Vancouver, you've probably noticed this super crazy looking building right as you come over the Granville Bridge. From this angle, it looks totally normal, but as you saw, from some angles, it looks absolutely mind-blowing. And there's a Seattle connection here. The architect, Bjark Ingels, who designed Vancouver House. He also had a hand in designing the Seattle Central Public Library, which is another interesting, weird building in downtown Seattle. And I just realized if you've ever seen the show Abstract on Netflix, it's really good, you should check it out. But there's a whole episode on this guy, and I totally watched it and didn't even make the connection that he designed this building. So pretty cool. Quick Airbnb tour. Wow couch didn't use kitchen at all but it's there this is cool there's our little view nice we've never stayed in this part of town usually we stay over by the stadium you can barely see the stadium way over there but this is granville street right here and it was popping until like 2 a.m last night so there you go pretty cool little spot Dude, I'm getting too close. Oh my gosh. Look what I found. Of course. Can one of you Canadians confirm? It doesn't look like the van has a Netrodyne camera. Is that true? Also, they're so nice. They don't have any dents or scrapes or anything. It must be nice. We came to pay our respects to the barge. If you don't know about the barge, oh, look at this dog. If you don't know about the barge, there was a crazy windstorm, I think, and it got beached. It broke loose from its tether and got beached. <laughs> what? It got beached? It got beached on the beach, dude. There's this big barge. There's one out there right now. You kind of see that one right way out there. And they couldn't get it off, so it was stuck there for like at least a year i can't remember we saw it in person once it's gone now they cut it into pieces and took it away but it was definitely a vancouver landmark there for a little bit it just rained so the branches are all slippery but maybe next time Lodal Conservatory. Last time we went there and there were all sorts of crazy exotic birds. It was actually really surprising and really cool. And a bunch of mice. Mm, yeah. That part was gross. <laughs> what the <laughs> mm. Now we're walking around on Robson Street. And look, we found another super weird building. 
That is so crazy looking. Lunch time. to go on. Rightfully so. It's like my biggest fear. Kate has this thing with bears. She has dreams about them. It's no joke. And of course, bear sightings. Lynn Canyon, that's where we are. <laughs> I didn't even mention it. What do you think? It's nice. It's a little scary. A little scary. All right, we've got one more cool spot. Another successful Vancouver trip. Time for work. Thanks for watching. Hats and t-shirts up on FridayAdventureClub.com. If you want to support the channel, that's it. See ya. <laughs>